Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Sebastian Ramirez. Uh, this is a raised barbecue, small little family joint. Uh, started off with just my mom, my dad in the backyard in a dream back in 2014. It's been a f quite a few years later. It's gonna be eight years soon. And I got it running with me, my uh, 20 year old brother, still my mom in the house. My dad unfortunately passed away earlier this year, but we're still running the family tradition. And this is raised barbecue. <laughs> So we got things running on uh, two JNRs. We use nothing but mesquite and white oak. We got shelves of that right behind. Our menu features uh, pulled pork, ribs, brisket, uh, house made sausage. All the sides are made in-house in by my mother. And uh, all the meats are trimmed by me and my brother. Our style is a fusion of almost all the cities here in, uh, in America. We started off in the backyard from backyard style barbecue. Over the years, uh, my dad and I had the chance to travel to Austin, which was where really uh, took us from here. So we did Texas salt brisket. We traveled to the North, to the Carolinas, which inspired our Carolina style pulled pork. Um, our ribs had a, a uh, dry rub Memphis style taste, uh, inspired by uh, Memphis itself. All our meats are uh, are from here in uh, Riz Mishima Reserve. Their livestock is in uh, Seattle. Some of our uh, Corbuda pulled pork. They're based on Missouri from True Story. And that's all we use here. Briskets have trimmings of the caribou pork and Mishima Wagyu brisket. Yeah, so check this out, guys. Uh, man, we're lucky to have this right here, uh, German steel. Uh, my dad, I don't know how he was able to get his hands on these. They were able to reach on social media, and these are hands down the best knives we have used here. Uh, we burned through knives here in the barbecue over the years, and from brand to brand, these guys are uh, the best it gets. And we were lucky to get some with our engraving on it, which is so awesome. Right here, we have a collection of uh, some quite uh, quite special barbecue books in the in the community, if you would know. Uh, books from uh, Daniel Vaughn, Myra Mixon, Ronnie Scott. This is what helps us uh, grow here as a business. It's not only traveling, but reading the little things that helps us take things in the kitchen to the next level. Man, this right here, the text monthly article is I want to start gold trophy not only just because it's by Texas Monthly but we were the first written about in California uh, so this pretty much is our I want to say our certification of being tested saw brisket because Daniel Vaughn which uh, man he influenced us from every spot he could recommend from watching his videos uh, he's on Netflix uh, and with Anthony Bourdain, so we have so much respect for him and for him to have uh, try, try food here in California, which is not really, it's growing as a barbecue spot. But back in 2018, well, we thought we were just the only ones and it was so amazing to get recognized by Daniel Vaughn. He came in with his daughters. Uh, they got a chance to eat our barbecue burrito, which I don't know how she was able to take a bite, but <laughs> that's, a, that's a very amazing picture. And ironically, his favorite thing was our curb with a pulled pork. And that's where the magic happens. We got one smoker going on for tomorrow, which is going to be uh, Thursday. And let's take a little look. Put the heat back on, let the smoke chill for a bit. Put your really low okay. right now. This is the 500, 300 pound or 500 pound? Uh, that capacity. 500. 500. Okay. Yeah. I could max this out with about 42 briskets. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Just nice. started putting this in about how long ago, Rolly? 30 minutes. About 30 minutes, minutes ago. Nice. So they yet to still get their nice red uh, smoke ring. My mother, Annabelle, she has been with my family running this restaurant in the backyard since day one. We are definitely not where we are without her. She does quality control, she does the size, she checks on me and my brother to make sure we're on point with this business. And without this lady man I would not be here we would not be open and she's even through the bat through the worst days she somehow keeps it running here and I, I gotta give all my credit to her Papa el mac and cheese es el más famoso que tenemos y el que más me gusta hacer porque más le gusta mucho a los clientes 
a lot of people love the mac and cheese, and that's the one that just keeps her inspired to do a lot. She loves making mac and cheese because it's quite unique area, and I guess so you get a taste of that too. I will. I my favorite is mac and cheese. Uh, mac and cheese. <laughs> I've eaten at barbecue restaurants around America, around the world, and I always go to the mac and cheese. One, every other week you make sausages. Yeah, one day out of the week, and uh, yeah, we try to do right now. We're doing jalapeno cheddar, but we, we're doing hot good. We're trying to expand a little bit yeah. on those and just experiment on those. Have fun with those, you know. So since we opened the doors, we lost a little bit of heat, and uh, just trying to bring it up back to 10 in the wood log burning. And once I get it nice and burned, I'll get start getting some more clean smoke. Take off the uh, allow the, the the meat to get clean smoke because that's what we want. We get too much dirty smoke and we start to lose that smoke ring and uh, making sure that we get this nice and little make sure we get a nice color to the smoke ring. So you like to run with the door open to get kind of the, the lock to be get a little bit of the smoke out and then close the door. Allow it to get uh, lit up. Uh, try to get most of it lit up. Uh, once it's starting to lit up I'll leave it cracked open. Uh, just because I already did its job of getting it covered in, in uh, this is the fire. Um, so. No, the burner is one log every what, 30, 40 minutes? Uh, I'd say like 30 to 40 to an hour. An hour. Check it out. So we're gonna have the uh, Wagyu Mishima beef brisket, pork with a pulled pork. We got my mom's sides that mac and cheese she, was, uh, she raised about and our customers. Um, beef and beef chunks, dirty rice, uh, Salvadoran style potato salad. Uh, coleslaw. This will be our uh, house made sausages. And that's all beef, right there. Beef, beef, and uh, beef and pork. Beef and pork and uh, no, no cheddar, right? No cheddar. Jalapeno cheddar. Uh, yeah. Okay, which one is which? They're the same. They're the same. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. all right. And uh, your homemade pickles. Ready to rock and roll. All right, can't wait to try this food here. I'm Smoking Steve's Barbecue. Uh, I am two time Australian Team of the Year, four time grand champion. I'm competing on this Saturday at uh, Bruin Q Festival in Norco. What are you cooking? Uh, all four proteins chicken, ribs, pulled pork, and brisket. Hey, I'm Mike. I'm from Caveman Barbecue, uh, Instagram caveman.bbq. Um, I'm over uh, with my mates from Australia to help out with the Bruin Q Festival up in Norco, uh, originally from Canada, and enjoying touring around eating a lot of barbecue. And hi, I'm Jason from Barbecue Events Australia. Uh, we're over here because we're running uh, the Brew and Q Festival in Norco on uh, this Saturday. We also run this festival back in Perth, so we've, uh, this is sort of a sister festival to our uh, festival back in Perth. It's been really good, but surprisingly the standout's been that dirty rice. It's, uh, the flavour on that is unbelievable. Like, mm. it's, it's, it's great. All the sides, and that's where, uh, me with a barbecue restaurant, that's what I love, is if they pull in the sides together, they're not phoning them in, and these guys, They've just nailed it. All the sides are perfect. Anyone can do mac and cheese, but to get it perfect, yeah. like a really good mac and cheese, it for some reason is harder to find these days. And this one is just one of the best I've had. It's not bad to get over. So we're located right here in uh, Huntington Park, 6238 Santa Fe Avenue. We only open for lunch, so uh, from 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. for sellout. So make sure you guys come a little bit earlier because three o'clock you might not have everything. You can find us on Instagram, uh, raisebbq90255. And that's pretty much it. Or on Google.